sure you have used the word heat many times in your life. You have experienced it and you have observed its effects. But have you ever wondered what heat in is? This video aims to reinforce your understanding of heat as energy that transfers from one object or place to another. You will determine the conditions necessary for heat transfer and the direction by which heat transfers by examining the changes in the temperature of the object involved. You will also observe the different methods of heat transfer and investigate some factors that affect this method. Now, let's explore the world of heat. Conduction and convection. In Figure 1, the heat from the sun travels by waves through space towards the Earth, which will absorb the heat, so the Earth becomes warm. This process is called radiation. In Figure 2, where a metal spoon is left in a pan of soap that is sitting on the stove, the spoon is in direct contact with the hot soap transferred to the spoon. That is called conduction. Convection. Another method of heat transfer is observed when keeping water. As illustrated in figure 3, the water at the bottom part of container gets heated at first. When water is heated, it begins to rise. Cold water is heavier than warm water. As warm water rises, Cold water goes down. The process repeated until all the water has the same temperature. This process is called convection. I am Nolimator Gata, grade 11. 